I'm here with Andrew Pitt, Head of Charities at Newton, who are one of our sponsors of the event this afternoon. Andrew, I want to ask you, very exciting times for charities and investment. How do you see the investment environment for charities at the moment? I think we're in very, very difficult times. I, mean, I think everybody obviously knows that and it's easy to say it. Um, but, you know, if you look at what's happened over the last four years, markets have effectively gone absolutely nowhere. Um, the debt that we have in the global economy um, is no different to what it was four years ago. So the debt crisis started four years ago, we're still in exactly the same position. Um, effectively, there has been no action taken. And I think, you know, you have to contrast that very strongly with the environment that existed prior to, let's say, 2007, where we had mm. effectively the strongest bull market in history. And many charities um, formulated their investment policies on the basis that the good times would continue forever and had very high exposure to equities and bonds, which frankly did absolutely brilliantly during that period. Our view at Newton now is that uh, charities need to think very carefully about their investment strategy going forwards and actually perhaps being far more flexible than perhaps they have been to date, giving their investment manager a lot more flexibility um, to be able to reduce equity weightings quite aggressively uh, when necessary. Because I think in the past, the buy and hold mentality has, has very much taken place and it's our belief that that is not going to work for the next few years while this deleveraging environment mm. continues. And on a slightly different mm. but related mm. topic of social finance and social investment, mm. are you seeing many of your clients at Newton who are coming to you and saying, well, we want to put aside a certain percentage of our portfolio, not necessarily to maximise financial return, but also to generate social return as well? I'm surprised actually how little, in a sense, we've had questions um, on, on that front. And I think a lot of it is to do with the fact that uh, trustees and trustee boards don't necessarily feel at the moment they have the expertise mm. um, to be able to cope with what is essentially, in some ways, a new, a new asset class. Um, so, no, it's been, uh, I would say, much less questions asked in that whole area than I would have expected, actually. So possibly at the moment the rhetoric is running ahead of the, the activity that follows it. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's, yeah. that's absolutely right. Mm. Yeah.